she's waiting for love to be realized. Hello, people. It's just a regular video. Sorry if you see any mess. I I live in chaos. Anyway, this is my inventory room, so it reflects me, but it doesn't sometimes. All right, I've got. A book here that I got at a library sale. Yeah, it's an old library book, but I think it's worth it. The pictures are nice. Uh, it's not in bad condition. So, I'm going to go ahead and take pictures of it and list it. Show that it was a library book at one time. that little tear on the corner because people need to see that any little flaw they need to see or else you get returns I know by experience okay yeah, focus What birds am I going to focus on? Something pretty. Let's see. Sandpiper, vulture. I think I have one of these living outside my house. Hmm. Maybe I should keep this book. Okay. Uh, magpies. Well, that would kind of show a little bit more of the descriptions they have in the photos. Yes, I will cut my finger out in editing. I promise. Ah, focus for me. Okay, that should be all right. And this is different. It has a ruler. I, I don't know if that's normal for these type of books or not. I have no clue. But I'm going to take a picture that it has that. I'll stop it. Okay. It's just not cute. All together cute picture. And no, my finger was not in that. <sighs> okay, took the picture. Worry about listing it later. When I get home. Because right now, I do not have Wi Fi. This is my mom's where my inventory is. Um, another book. I got a post office sale. Well, post office sale. I'm saying. <sighs> Library sale. Book sale. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down with a damp cloth. It's not. I wrung it out, so it's not like super wet. And I'm just going to clean it up. Make it look nice. Because it was a library book. So, it added that fingers. And make it look nice. Okay. Make sure your cloth isn't too damp. Or you can use a magic eraser too, but make sure your cloth isn't too damp or you will make an imprint on the paper, as in damage the paper. We don't want that. Okay, I'm playing the back of the book. This is a crafty book, 
so of course I grabbed it because I'm crafty. Um, I know there's people that love doing crafts, all the DIY stuff. I look up stuff on uh, Pinterest all the time. Not to mention my coffee memes that I post on my Instagram. Caffeinated Christy Instagram. Alright, that's good. Let's wipe down now. Make sure it's pretty much. I know, it doesn't matter. I already flipped it over when it was wet. I'm just doing this anyway. Okay. Make sure you have good enough lighting. If you don't, use the lighting on your phone. So, if you see a shadow, just turn out the lighting a little bit on your phone for a picture. Oh, actually, I think. Mm. Oh, it's still right there. It's better. Okay. Take a picture of the edge. Take <clears throat> a picture of the back. After it focuses. And then I zoom in, sort of. I take a closer up picture so they can kind of read the back. Just in case the picture I have is not the greatest. And some of a couple of the books I have, they did this. It's like, really? But I'll put that in the listing too. It's just because it was a library book and I just, I used to do that. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. It says, for my mom who gave me the tools for life. Makes sense. Now, let's see. Some kind of interesting. That's an interesting DIY, but you cuff, earring. That's cool. I've already done that though. I've um, painted on shoes before, plain shoes. Made them look really cool. But I didn't just put one color. I put, you know, a scene on it. Although the shoes do look cool. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Definitely retro picture. That will tell just right there that it's DIY book. So. Oh, back of the page. There's book number two. Now, okay. Alright, um, these I found at, it was like a, I don't think it was a yard sale exactly, it was like a, a yard sale at the library, but it was a library sale with some books. Um, six coasters, two of them don't have their little stars, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and take pictures anyway, and 
they'll be able to see that because two of them clearly don't have things. I need to clear my desk because I can't see crap. Alright, let's put a little bit better lighting. I'll just take a picture of the two that don't have. Are you done? <laughs> that don't have things. Then I will flip them over. Uh, I'm that I couldn't wipe it off. Okay. Turn them all over. I cleaned them up already. Um. So, okay, take a picture of the two that don't have stars, picture of them all, picture of the four that do have stars, and let's see, these will be on bottom because you know, they're clearly missing something. Back them to get a good first picture. Everybody may do this different than me. That's okay. I don't mind. Okay. It's perfect coasters for Christmas, Coco, or Yule, or you know, you don't have to celebrate Christmas to have a snowman. So that's the point. just for the holiday season. It's nice. Alright, and then Oh, I should have done that with the books. Okay. Get all these. Put it in a little bag. And you can squish the air out of it if you want. And cut it. This is just so you sell it. When you sell it, you don't want the knot to be there. You want it to be taped. Because it looks nicer. <sighs> okay, I'm going to put it right over here. Something else I had that I think I've already cleaned it up. But I don't think I took pictures of it. I just bundled it. And Barney. I've got four DVDs, so I'm going to lock them up in the four. I don't know if you grew up, you know, with Barney. Honestly, I don't think I really grew up with Barney. I grew up more with, like, Susie and Lamb Chop. Or Sherry Sher and Lamb Chop. That's what it was. Okay. A little bit more space here. All right, this shows what they get in the lot. Make sure you have plenty of good light. Right. You can do it this way too. And so you have See, if, if I didn't do this, I would use my, um, my software and make a collage, and I would make a collage of all four pictures separately. That's one way you can do it, or you can do it this way. And you still need to show that they all have their discs.
A little bit. Scratch that. I'm trying to polish it a little bit. Sometimes you can actually not improve anything by polishing the disc. So sometimes what you want to do is go get the discs resurfaced if it's worth it at all. If it's going to be worth it for the price. And it did, this one just has prints, so I'm going to take it with a, a cloth for glasses and go ahead and scrub it with that. should be gentle enough where it's not going to hurt it. I'm putting these all right side up because you can take a picture. And that one has prints too. I will clean them up and then put them back in their bag. That one has a lot of prints. Doesn't like any look like any deep scratches though, just fingerprints. I mean it's kid movies, so of course it's gonna have that <laughs> an issue. Okay, so that and see if I'll drop everything because I've got a lot of things over here. <laughs> my cleaning stuff. Okay. <clears throat> it's just a little eyeglasses wipe. I use it for, yeah, bye. I use it for a lot of things that I have to do gentle cleaning with. Alright, um, okay. So I got them back together after taking pictures of the underside of the discs. I went ahead and tied it, and like I said before, you don't keep the knots, you fold over and tape when they're actually sold. At least that's what I do. Okay, put them back there, and I got another one. Stay. Okay. Alright. So, I got these for free too. They were previously loved, so, um, is going to be probably a little bit of fingerprints on the discs. Let's see. Yeah. So you, you want to make sure you're scrubbing that. I take your little scrubby wipe. No chemicals. At the most, if you want to moisten it with a little bit of water, but just water. And Okay, I moistened this little wipey a little bit because I couldn't get I couldn't get everything with just wiping. So I figured it's better if I add just a tiny bit of water. I'm a novice at this of course, you know, not a professional DVD cleaner. Some of those polishes don't work anyway. You know the how they say toothpaste? You can put toothpaste on a disc and clean it doesn't always work. So sometimes it's better if you just use a, a gentle wipey. Hopefully one of these that's good for cleaning glasses or you know stuff like that. So you don't make any more scratches or anything like that but you still get fingerprints off discs that are pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Before I put these, you know, before I list these, I'll make sure that they play. So, I'm um, not worried about that. Not That's all for now. Thank you for watching. I applaud you if you stuck with me this long. Better video next time, I promise. Right. Meh.